let's beat Gana with the axe throw only. No abilities, no runics, no Freya arrows. That's right. If she does any of her sigil or sonic abilities, you gotta get the hell out of the way. The only exception is the occasional shield bash. I'm a big fan of the axe, so it only made sense I tried to do something stupid like this. And you know we had to set the difficulty to Gimme God of War for the haters. Since we're focused on ranged attacks, the build is primarily centered around cooldown. Everything I have upgrades my cooldown quite a bit. We don't really need to worry about the relic, but I do have Spartan Rage Valor just in case I get into a pickle. All right, for the armor up top, we're going with Surtur's Scorch chest piece. Um, to me, this is better than the Hunter's chest piece because we are going to be hitting Gana quite a bit while she is active in movesets, so this will do more damage for us. Next up, we have the Hunter set, which is the Gauntlets and the Waist Belt. Both of these together provide a 20% increase to ranged attacks, and since that's all we'll be doing, we should probably have these equipped. Next up is the Amulet. Um, we're going to be running Emblem of Illusion here because we're going to want to dodge a lot of things that Ganad does. The Vanaheim's Fortitude and the Muswaheim set is only to increase our cooldown, but the next two sets are very important. Since we're going to be doing a lot of dodging, um, we definitely want to equip the Alfheim set. Um, try to pick anything that increases your cooldown or your strength. Um, we'll be able to get a lot of bang for our buck out of our axe throws if we have this. Next up will be the Midgard set. Um, having this increases the damage of all of our ranged attacks based on our cooldown, which is why we wanted our armor and all of our weapons to increase our cooldown as much as possible. Last but not least, make sure you go to your skills, go to the axe throw, and make sure it has a damage ability, and you're ready to go. Oh! 